Bible and go to visit you. The king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Love has no excuses. How many times have we passed the man or woman holding the sign on the side of the road that says, I'm hungry? We tell ourselves they just want alcohol, or we don't have the time to stop, or we just don't have the money to do it today. Excuses. Jesus was busy, had places to go, people to see. He didn't even bring food for himself one day when he was asked to feed a crowd of people. Jesus asked his disciples to find all the food they could, and when they found the lunch of a small boy, Jesus fed 5,000 people with a Lunchable. <laughs> How many times have we refused to let someone spend the night because they're different than us? Not always nice to us. Maybe they smell a little funny. Excuses. Jesus was perfect. Everyone was different than him. He hung out with tax collectors and sinners. He even ate at their houses. A lot of these people hated him. And some of them were fishermen. Have you ever smelled someone after they've been out in the ocean and they keep fishing all day? Yeah. How many times have we seen the clothes dry, but refused to donate because I might wear this one day? Excuses. Jesus said in Matthew 6, 19, do not store up for yourselves treasure of treasures on earth, where falls and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. And in Luke 12, 33, he says, sell your position, possessions and give to charity. Love is servanthood. It wasn't a coincidence that Jesus wasn't born a king here on earth. Jesus wanted to show us how to love through leading by example. He couldn't just command us to love as he loved without first showing us how to love. In John 13, 14, Jesus says, Now that I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also should wash one another's feet. Okay, this sounds crazy. These days, we pay people to wash our feet, and we call it a pedicure. <laughs> <laughs> but those days, washing someone's feet was not quite as popular. Just like today, I can imagine that the posture that the posture you gave, the posture you were in, gave different signals. If I'm standing in front of you or above you, it may signal authority. Most times, if I'm standing in front of you, or most times, standing in front of you, I have the authority to confront you. While standing above you, I have the authority for your attention. <laughs> the, kneeling, the kneeling posture can easily indicate begging. If you have kids, or when you were a kid, or had a dog, you are very familiar with this posture. It says, please, Dad, buy me a car. <laughs> <laughs> or please, Mom, let me have just one more cookie. Or please, owner, give me some of your leftovers simply because I'm cute. <laughs> and then we have the bowing posture. Bowing very, very clearly represents respect and love for someone. To bow to someone is basically showing them that they have worth to you. These days we have chairs, and it's frowned upon to eat on the floor. Ask my mom. And ask me. She yells at me all the time. <laughs> Those days they sat on the ground in a reclining position to eat. The disciples didn't wear nice mud boots or the newest Nike's tennis shoes to keep their feet clean. The disciples didn't drive around in fancy cars or walk on paved sidewalks. The disciples' feet were dirty, smelly, men feet. <laughs> 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 Jesus got on his knees and bent lower than his disciples, placing him in a bowing position, and washed their feet one by one, then told them to wash one another's feet, just as he did theirs. Love knows no boundaries. John 15, 13. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. This Christmas, when you're with your loved ones and the people you hold dearest, try not to think about what gifts they may give you from under the tree. Instead, think about what acts of servanthood you can give them that you learn from a baby in a manger, born to die, out of perfect love for you. Then, the king will reply, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Father, I thank you for the gift that you gave us, which was your son. And I thank you for the love that um, you gave us. And when you told us to go and love as you loved, you didn't just simply say that you came to earth as a helpless little infant, born to die for the sins that I commit every day today. And I thank you that you showed us how to love. I thank you that love has no excuses, and love is blind, and, and love is servanthood. Father, somebody really wise taught me that 
The right actions bring out the right emotions. And Father, there is no more, there is no better person to teach me how to love than you. And I just pray that if one person today realizes that um, that love is much greater than a warm feeling you get when you hug the right person or when you're with that person, Father, I just pray that you teach us all that love. Love is an action. And that we need to start taking that action. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen.